All right, uh, here's a replay in the Duke of York. Um, this is while I was playing in the uh, Colt Clan, which I'm no longer a uh, member of. Um, for those that actually watch any of my videos, um, I've transitioned through about, oh, I don't know, four or five clans in the last few months. Um, yeah, I uh, think I found a good home with the 5D guy, so uh, I think at the end of the day it worked out. I don't think every clan is for everybody. Um, I'm not going to really speak to why I left or why I was asked to leave. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I've met a lot of great people playing in these clans. I have a lot of respect for them. Um, the fact that I'm no longer with them or for whatever reason is kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, uh, I do run into a lot of these guys occasionally um, and uh, I try to be cordial. So anyways, um, back to the Duke of York. Um, this was this was recorded shortly after it was released. Um, I believe this was either my first or second game in the boat. Um, so, yeah, I uh, had a pretty decent game and uh, saved the replay and uh, recorded the, the replay. And I figured I'd go back and... Um, this is actually a little selfish, but I'm actually trying to free up some hard drive space and the original formats that these were uh, recorded in are eight or nine gig files, so they are consuming quite a bit of, of hard drive space on my, or hard drive real estate on my uh, computer, so uh, just trying to go through and uh, deleting some of the ones that I don't think are worthy of my time and effort to put on YouTube and uh, um, doing a quick commentary slash voiceover on the ones that I think are worth it. Um, and again, uh, you know, I hope, I, hope, I hope people enjoy these videos or get something out of them. I'm not trying to be a big YouTube star by any means. Um, by any means, actually. I'm just uh, having fun taking some of these videos, sharing them, and uh, playing around with a little bit of Adobe Premiere. So, um, we pushed the A cap on this map. Uh, I've been uh, taking shots at this battleship, and uh, it's a fellow Duke of York. So obviously if I can get rid of him, that would be outstanding, and I managed to get rid of him. Uh, we're down a cruiser, they're down a battleship. Uh, we have two caps, including A, uh, which has just been secured. Um, got a lot of targets of opportunity and choice over here. So I'm gonna keep uh, spamming the... And we lose A battleship that was uh, heavily overextended in A and managed to eat a torp. Looks like we also have an Alabama. Um, one thing to note is I am not the high tier ship in this game. I'm actually uh, the middle tier it looks like. Looks like there are a handful of uh, eights and a couple of sevens. So uh, yeah, you know nothing not, not super favorable matchmaking, and again, uh, a boat that I'm fairly new to, a class of ship that I uh, do not pretend to be an expert in. I am not a battleship player uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So, this flank has more or less collapsed. Uh, we've lost the Nagato and the Edinburgh over here, it looks like. I think the Edinburgh was with us, I didn't really see Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it looks like, and we lose another ship. We lose a Budiani. Um, it's kind of strange that even though I'm a pretty inexperienced BB player, I'm the only one that hasn't really pushed in aggressively or overly aggressive. Um, unfortunately, once this Alabama goes down, I'm probably going to be the focus of these 
ships. And speaking of the devil, the New Orleans takes out the Alabama. Uh, keep in mind this is um, from January of 2018. This game was recorded or played. Um, so um, the New Orleans is a little bit different now. Um, again, it's just the evolution of the game. I'm not really sure what patch this was recorded in. So I got another fire um, on the new Max. And um, we're going to lose the A cap. Uh, although I may be able to um, reset them a little bit. And in this case, I, I do force the new Max out. I think he's just trying to break contact, uh, repair, and yeah, probably heal. Um, but we have a DD and several other ships on this flank. As of yet, I haven't taken any damage. I've got one kill and I've done about 26,000 damage. And here we go. We have a York um, speeding toward us. We do have two DDs that came over to help. Um, and we've managed to take out their Leander. Our uh, Atlanta took out their Leander, so that's, that's always good. Um, kind of hoping these DDs can at least run interference for me here and delay the, um, the red team's A push, allow me to reposition and re-engage them. Um, that said, if I get an opportunity to help these DDs out, I'm sure we're going to do that. I've already switched over to AP. I've been spamming HE most of the game. And I take a shot. i got a Citadel on the cruiser. Now that's going to leave a mark for sure. Good solid hit. Um, of course, I would have liked to have two Citadels, but uh, either way, um, I'll take that. They're really pushing aggressively into those two DDs, so uh, I'm going to, again, do what I can to help those guys out. And uh, if I can get another Citadel or two, I will surely do that. So we've hit the York and the Fiji really hard, um, basically stripping both of them of 50% uh, of their health or so. And uh, I don't know why, but uh, they seem to be more content with aggressively pushing these two DEDs than even paying any attention to me. So, um, hey, if that's what they want to do, then so be it. We're going to take some shots at this New Orleans. Um, he's low health. Um, I don't believe I did much damage to him, but... Um, and I kind of missed my shots there. That's unfortunate. I would have loved to finish him off. Um, the red team has a three-ship advantage right now on us. And they... Uh, the caps are about even, though. Uh, we're just taking our second one. we got a couple hundred points on us, but... <coughs> At this point, I'm not really worried about the points. It's not that an unsurmountable gap yet. Although that can always change, and I'm missing more shots. Yeah, You can tell the quality and caliber of BB player I am. Um, yeah. So, um, do I like the Duke of York? Yeah, it's a pretty good ship. Um, it's one of my... Probably, I'd say, one of my favorite DBs at the end of the day. Um, again, I don't have a ton of games in it, but um, in my limited experience, it's a pretty fun ship to play. So I fire off a salvo of AP uh, at this new max, and um, I'm going to switch over to AP, pop hydro, just to make sure there's no torpedoes inbound, and I'm going to... Uh, Try to get this New Mexico on fire and maybe even finish him off. Um, my team could surely use the help. We're losing the B cap now. Um, they really forced those DDs out of there. They actually split up and went in separate directions. So this is more or less a free for all for the red team. They're definitely going to take B. More or less on a post. Managed to get a, a good hit on the uh, New Max in a fire. We'll see if that sits, and we get another fire. So 
it looks like we should get the New Mexico if he doesn't repair, and it looks like he has repaired. So the New Mexico is very, very low. Um, looks like he got taken out by the Atlanta, or maybe that was the other one, that was the other one. Um, my team did manage to take back two ships from the red team, so now there's only a one slash two ship deficit because we just lost our New Orleans and they just they just lost their York so this is going back and forth and if you recall the York was one of the ships that I citadeled as he was departing A heading to B so yeah that worked out good it looked like he took a torp from the Gallant and went down so teams are kind of even they have a one ship advantage we have a cap advantage right now they have a slight point advantage. Um, we do have three DDs, so um, you'll notice on the mini map, it looks like we have a Mogami and a Turpitz from the red team chasing a Gallant. And that's uh, that's something I would uh, not encourage, but, uh, and the Turpitz does get the Gallant, one of the Gallants. Um, it looks like they have, yep. So, I wouldn't really encourage chasing DDs in a battleship, but uh, from my point of view, these two ships chasing the Gallant are just two ships that are literally out of the game and out of the fight. So, if he can keep them uh, at bay and away, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Excuse me. So... Uh, one kill, 65k, not, not a great game, not a bad game, and surprise, surprise, that's going to hurt. Oof. Yep. So we get a single fire on the new Max. Crawl, I had two fires on him not too long ago, and he burned his damage control. He appears to s still be on fire. And uh, pretty low health, 2600. And I'm going to try to finish him off here. And I managed to secure the New Mexico. So that's pretty good. Um, it is three ships first. Five, however, and the points are a lot even. Um, with the red team taking the sea cap, it'll be 2v2 as far as the caps go. Um, our Gallant is uh, torping and running which I would highly recommend because you don't want to get spotted or come into close contact with that Gallant. Nah. I just had a flashback of what occurred here. This was actually a pretty funny moment. So we got two cruisers, one of which I am able to immediately wipe out with HE, and one which chooses to smoke up in front of me which allows me to pop Hydro, spot the inbound torps in plenty of time, and um, put my secondaries on them, although I can't say my secondaries are anything special. Fire some more HE, and yeah, we know what he's doing here. So we're, uh, and we pick up his torps right away. This Fiji is in big trouble. He's, uh, he's now used both sides, Torps. And, um, yeah. I don't think he was, uh, expect. Ooh, I take a big hit. I don't think he was expecting uh, me to have Hydro or me to use Hydro. So we're going to see if we can finish him off. And at the same time, hopefully not be killed by the red team. Looks like he kind of went for uh, possibly a, um, a ram, but no, he uh, he didn't ram us. Instead, he went right behind us, and my guns are having a hard time uh, tracking him because he is literally playing around right behind my ship. Our secondaries get a fire, and I believe that fire is going to finish him off. And we get a close quarters. We've got three of the four caps. Uh, 
luckily we still have a destroyer sneaking around. And uh, yeah, it takes some, some damage from the turbots. And uh, trying to encourage my gallant just to stay alive. Um, as I think this is going to be a win. Um, I think we can possibly hold them off for a little bit. I'm down to a couple heals. And I've got over a minute for my uh, heal cooldown. So, yeah, that's kind of crappy. But um, on, the, uh, on another note, it looks like they have a low health gallant. A pretty stool. Hello, Mr. Gallant. So we're gonna see if we can get rid of him. We we'll get a good hit. And we follow that up with another decent hit. Our Gallant fires at him, which, eh, I don't know about that. I wish he wouldn't have done it. The Giddy's trying to uh, probably secure the kill. But um, I kind of need him, so don't die. See if we can finish this guy off. And we do. We take the Kraken, 106k. And, uh, wow. At this point, we can pretty much just run and win. And, uh oh. Uh oh. I forgot all about the Torps. And this could be huge. Ooh, get that booty turning. Wow. Uh, even the uh, Atlanta in chat is commenting on the dodge. It's kind of funny. Yeah. I, uh, I forgot about that. Uh, so. Um, getting some compliments in chat. Always appreciated. Uh, yeah, very nice of people to uh, take the time and say, hey, good game, nice try, good effort, whatever the case. Uh, good shot, good dodge, whatever the case. Uh, I always appreciate it. Uh, I decide to uh, take a shot at the Turpets, and oh, lo and behold, a full health Mogami, who I am broadside to. So... I need to change my angle. Um, he's in my detection range, so I cannot really get away from him. I'm literally a probably a fire from burning down, and I'm taking shells from everybody. And I'm hoping we can stay alive for 30, 40 seconds, maybe. Don't get a fire, don't get a fire, don't get a fire, don't get a fire. Um, and he is trying to set me on fire, obviously. And he's hitting me pretty good. Uh, ouch. Ooh, get another fire, and that gives us confederate. Oh, no. So they are able to kill me. But unfortunately for them, RDD is gone, and uh, there's under 30 seconds left. So this is actually going to be a victory, even though uh, I met my demise um, via a full health Mogami, who uh, both the Mogami and the Turpets had three kills each, so they both uh, they did some heavy lifting for their team. Um, our Atlanta did three kills also, and, uh, you know, this Kalant did a good job. He doesn't have any kills, but, um, he obviously was instrumental in, uh, our success and my success. So, 113k, uh, five kills, a solo cap, Confederate, close quarters, and Kraken. Um, 2415 base XP, uh, pretty impressive, 500, uh, Almost 500 points above the nearest teammate, which would be the Atlanta with the Gallant, who obviously did pretty well coming in third. Uh, and hats off to those guys. Um, and yeah, killed five of the seven ships that I engaged. 
took 1.6 million potential damage. Overall, pretty good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, do all that cool YouTube stuff, or don't. Um, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video.